you can't blink nowadays without hearing something about ChatGPT or OpenAI and how to use it in your business. Well, I've got a great little use case for you. It's called Auto Reply with OpenAI. So I'm gonna teach you today how to automatically reply to your Google reviews using OpenAI and Zapier, okay? My name is James Hurst, I'm the host of The Marketing Show, and if you're interested in automating your marketing, then you're in the right place. So I recently just spoke at the Service Hero Marketing Conference here in Orem, Utah, at the Any Hour Services Plumbing headquarters. They have over 17,000 reviews, which is amazing, right? If you continually ask for those reviews, you're gonna get a lot of them over time, right? So look, but he has, here's a response from the owner. Here's a response from the owner. Here's a response from the owner. What I'm gonna show you is, how to do that automatically. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna key off of a new review coming into Zapier, okay? And then we're gonna take that and have OpenAI take a look at it and compose a response. Then you could choose to either automatically post that response as a reply, or if you wanna take a look at it first, why don't you just send yourself an email? So let's get started and build this from scratch together. This video is sponsored by HL Pro Tools, which is a high-level agency that supports other agencies. They offer live chat, Zoom, Slack support for you and your clients. They have access to daily coaching. They have a snapshot. I had the great opportunity to meet them in California at their live event and got to hang out with Matt. DDX Web is a snapshot based off of HL Pro Tools snapshot. They have Slack support. You can see kind of behind the scenes of a Slack channel with the support that they offer. Uh, they have different offerings, you know, up to 10 clients for $2.97 a month, unlimited client support for $6.97 a month. Take a look at HL Pro Tools. There'll be a link in the description below. Now back to the show. Create a new zap. And the trigger is gonna be Google My Business, okay? You're going to need to log in and connect your Google My Business account. The event will be a new review. Hit continue. And this is where you will either uh, create a new account or sign into the existing one. Hit continue. You'll log in with your Gmail address. Then you'll pick a location if you have multiple. So for this example, I'll use Power Wheels Parties. Okay, so here's Power Wheels Parties as well. So I've got this one review sitting here, Matt Ratliff, my friend, an amazing experience and best of all, the kids loved it, okay? We're gonna take that exact response and the number of stars and tell OpenAI, ChatGPT to compose a review response, okay? So now we've got our connection to Google by business and we're gonna say test trigger. It's gonna go out and find, that's the exact one, Matt Ratliff, amazing experience, okay? So now we have to take what we have from that review and send it over to OpenAI. So we'll hit continue, and then we'll search for OpenAI, right? But you're gonna need an account, right? And it's, uh, I think it's free up to a certain amount, and then it's a paid version as well. So we're gonna head over to Google, and I'm gonna say uh, OpenAI sign up API key. That's what we're looking for. So OpenAI API key, and you're going to need to uh, create an account or get signed in, okay? So once you're signed in, you will come over here, upper right-hand corner and click view API keys. It's gonna take me to the same spot. Then you're gonna cr uh, create a new secret key, give it a name, any old name will do. Let's call it auto reply. Auto reply with OpenAI. Create a secret key. And you wanna make sure you copy that off somewhere, throw it in LastPass, put it in a notepad. Once you hit done here, you have lost it, okay? And then hit done. And then go back to Zapier and continue along the process. So if I say for the event here, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick send a prompt. So I wanna send in a prompt to OpenAI but I'm gonna use some stuff from the previous step. Hit continue, choose an account. This is where you would connect a new account, right? And paste in that API key. There we go. Okay, so we've got a new account here. We're connected up to AI. We're gonna hit continue. Now this is the key, and this is something that you can tweak over time. But basically this is what I, I gave it a little bit of information about my business. I said, hey, I'm the owner of a business called such and such with a company that does such and such. The following text is a review they left on my Google My Business page. Please compose an appropriate response. Thank them for leaving a review. 
They also leave a star rating from one to five. Please consider their star rating in your response. Here is the review, here, the comment, and here is the star rating, the number rating. So let's just start with this. Let's grab this and you'll tweak this for your business or your client's businesses, okay? And we're going to stick that right there but this is where it gets really smart. It's gonna reference the previous step. Here is the review. We're gonna to go to the uh, previous step here and find and insert that variable for the comment. So here's the review. And then we're gonna say, and here is the star rating. And here is the star rating. And then use the variable number rating. Okay, that's it. So let's do a test. So he says the amazing experience, the kids loved it, right? So let's go ahead and hit continue. And then we'll hit test action. So it's passing that review from Matt over to ChatGPT OpenAI. And it's gonna respond back with its, with its automated review. Oh, thank you so much for your wonderful review and five-star rating. We're delighted to hear your kids had such an amazing experience at the Power Rolls party. We strive to make every customer memorable and fun experience. We appreciate your time taking leave review and look forward to seeing that. I mean, that's pretty darn good. If they are all that good, I would feel pretty comfortable with sending that in automatically, right? Well, what if they leave a bad review, right? Let's see what that, what, what that might look like. So what we'll do is we'll go to the trigger. Actually, we'll go to the, uh, the action here. And instead of saying, uh, instead of actually putting that, let's just hard code something in and say, uh, the owner was late and he let his kids ride all the good cars. Wouldn't recommend. Let's just see how it does with a, with a bad review. And then the number rating would be a one. What happens when we send that in? Okay, let's retest the action. Thank you for your feedback. We appreciate your honesty. Apologize for any inconvenience that caused when I was late. We tried to provide a great experience for our guests. And it sounds like we didn't meet that standard on this particular occasion. We're always looking for ways to improve and your feedback helps us in the endeavor. Thank you again for taking the time to leave us a review. That is pretty darn good. So I'm just going to set it back and I'm going to um, just put that back to the, to the variables. Okay. So instead of hard coding that for the example, I'm going to put that back to the number rating. And then I'm going to put this back as well. So it takes into account every new review. All right. Now, you're scared of open AI. You, you, you know, your, your business reputation is kind of on the line here. What could we do instead? We could email, we could email this response to us and kind of have a manual step in between. Okay. So let's do that. Let's go grab this one here. And let's go ahead and copy this step, which is a cool feature now from uh, Zapier. And let's go ahead and paste this right in here and hit paste below. Okay. So we're going to use the Gmail action step. If you need to search for it, you'll search for Gmail. The event will be send an email, hit continue. You pick your uh, account, you get logged in. And now you're going to send an email to yourself. Okay. New review for Power Reels Parties. New review for Power Reels Parties from so-and-so. So you could say, you could pick the, the reviewer name from above. Uh, HTML is the body type. So also this display name. So, so such and such person. So Matt uh, left you a, a review a blank star review so then we'll put in the star rating as a variable saying what well it's that same comment so that's what they said so now i can kind of see the comment and then also compare that to what OpenAI came up with so then we'll go ahead and pick the thing from step two there's the prompt but we're interested in the response okay and then if you like that reply, go ahead and paste it here. So you would just go out and find your uh, business profile. So you would just come here and you would basically want a link to your own profile, your client's profile, and you could just stick that right there. So if you wanted to make that 
easy to respond to. You could just paste it in to the, uh, the response, okay? So we could actually give this a test right now. Hit continue and say test action. All right. Okay, so here's an example of the email that came through. New review for Power Rose Parties from Matt. He left you a five-star rating. That's what he said. Here's the reply. Thanks for your feedback, all that. You would take this if you liked it, tweak it, copy and paste it, and then go and manually click on that review. It should be the last one there, the very top, and then just hit reply and paste your chat GPT review. All right. So, but what if you trust this enough now and you wanted to automatically just auto reply with open AI, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the plus sign. We would actually delete that step if we want to just go for it. And then we would go back to Google my business. And this time it's going to be create a reply to the review. That's going to be the event. Okay. We'll hit continue. Make sure we have the right account picked. And now the review name, we will reference from the first step, which is right here, which is review name. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a URL. Okay. So review name. And then the reply is the reply, which we got from the response from OpenAI, And that is done. So if I actually hit test action, we should see, and there it is, response from the owner. That's pretty slick, right? So, so that's how you do an automatic response using OpenAI. It's a nice little use case. So it's helpful to businesses because Google is seeing that not only is your profile active and you're getting five-star reviews, but that you're also proactive in responding to them Future customers are going to see that you're responding to their reviews as well. This is going to keep a nice activity stream going to your Google profile. Well, the other thing that you need to do is that you need to continually request new reviews. So I've actually made a snapshot that helps people gather more reviews. In fact, people have said that this has replaced uh, things that they're paying monthly for uh, per client per month. So it's a great value. If you want to check it out, go to jameshurst.com store. It's the smarter review requests. And if you click on here, you can watch the demo video on how, on how it works and then why it works, why I set it up the way I did. If you're interested in that, take it, definitely take a look, check it out in the link in the description below. And with that being said, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the show. Advice given is for educational purposes only and may not be applicable to your business. You should know that the marketing show receives compensation through its affiliate relationship for the products and services it recommends. Thank you for your support and we hope to see you on the next episode of The Marketing Show.